Here we go. Here we go. Now, now keep the context. I'm talking about your skills. I'm talking about your abilities. I'm talking about your talent. I'm talking about your giftedness. Stay right in that one area. I'm not talking about everything. I'm talking about that, just that area. Here's what I'm about to say to you. Listen carefully. From this moment on, from this moment on, stop working on your weaknesses. You say, John, what do you mean stop working on my weaknesses? What I mean is stop working on your weaknesses. Well, why should I stop working on my weaknesses? Well, that's very simple, my friend, because you are weak <laughs> in your weaknesses. My name's John. I'm, I, I'm your friend. Could we talk? You're not any good at it. Quit doing something you're not any good at. Do you want to go back to American Idol example? <laughs> if you got an A, see, see, our educational system has totally taught us to work on our weakness. If you got an A in math, you got a C in English, what do they tell you to work on? Talk to me. Oh, they say, get that English grade up, get that English grade up. I'm here to tell you, don't work on your English. <laughs> Told you I'd set you free. You say, why shouldn't I work on my English? It's very simple. You've got a math mind. It's not that you're dumb. You've got a math mind better than an English mind. You're better, you're better at numbers than you are at words. It's, just, it's not right or wrong. It's just who you are. It's, it's your uniqueness. If you, in fact, if you've got a C in English, you know, don't work on your English. Just get on your knees and thank God you've got a C. <laughs> Probably deserved a D. You know what I'm saying? Teacher liked you. Bumped you up a grade. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. We've all been there. I've had that happen to me. Thank God. So to discover your purpose in life, what am I passionate about and what am I good at?